You want both? David. I, uh, yeah. Good. Maybe put to good use. And uh, what's this I hear? My boy's turned 18, huh? Happy birthday. Thanks. So you finally moving out? Yeah. About ready to head up to your first Daytona trip tomorrow night? Let's do it. Jeremy, you coming too? Yeah, I'll be there. Tomorrow night. Oh, well, I gotta head out. Let's go back and. Alright. Hey, don't forget to bring the rest of the oxy too. Yeah. David, you do understand that the state is no longer responsible for you starting tomorrow? Yeah. And you also know that you will no longer qualify for any of our 18 and older foster care programs because you don't meet the requirements? Yes. David. Hey, Laura, I'm gonna be gone for a few. I've got a couple of errands to run. You'd be good to her birthday boy. All right, thank you, Kathy. Be careful. David, do you have a place to stay? Yeah, I do. Don't lie to me. No, I swear, I have a place to stay. <sighs> okay, all right. There's one more thing I need to tell you. I got a phone call the other day. From who? From your father. It was about three days ago. He called from somewhere in Pasco. Wait, isn't he in jail? Actually, no. He's been out for about a year now. He got a job working for a trucking company. What did he say? <sighs> David, I don't know if I should What did he say? He wants to see you as soon as possible. Where? He said he's available um, tomorrow afternoon, actually, uh, to meet at the East Lake Diner, 4213 Sinclair Drive. Case manager's done a good job taking care of you all these years. I used to love this as a boy. What is this? What? What are you doing? David, I just want to talk to you. Now? I talked to your case manager. She said you'd be moving out soon. Yeah, that's what happens when you turn 18. You got a place to go? Yeah. Gonna head to the East Coast with some friends. When? Tonight. David, the reason I brought you here today is because I want to tell you some things that I should have told you a long time ago. Like what? Everything. Okay. I was born in Ocala. My dad worked for the railroad. He was a hard man. Anyway, he... He had a problem with drinking. And one night... He drank too much and I just left. Not long after that, I met your mother. Before we knew it, we had you. That really was the greatest thing that ever happened to me. 
the pain. The pain from my father never healed. So I did the only thing that I knew how to do to try and numb it. And it didn't work. Not too long after that, I left. And then they came and took you in. So, all of this, it's because you're afraid that I'm going to end up growing up like you. Dave. No, that's, that's exactly what it is. Unbelievable. You know what? You don't have to worry about me. Because I'm not going to grow up to be like you. Because I'm not a coward who abandons his family. It gets so lonely, doesn't it? All that pain built up inside. Sometimes it just wants to choke you. Like you can't even breathe. I'm not saying you're gonna grow up to be like me. I'm not saying you're gonna grow up to be like anything. David, I'm just saying at some point, you gotta make a choice. You gotta make up your mind who you wanna be. A real man or a coward like I was. I love you, David. I've always loved you. And I want you to know that you are not a mistake. And then I'm sorry for everything. Dave. Dave. Hello?